Today we have the pleasure of having Martin Tillman, Consular Officer at the U.S. Consulate General here in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, first, Martin, welcome to our Mizun offices. Thank you for having me. Yes, we're definitely glad to have you here. Uh, today we're here to discuss the Summer Work and Travel Program. Um, tell us a little bit more about uh, the program itself. We're in the process of having students uh, finalize their summer plans, mm -hmm. and uh, this program seems like a great opportunity for them to do so. Uh, so just give us a yeah. brief overview. Well, it's, it's, uh, in summary, it's just what it says it is. It's summer work and travel. Um, so it's open for uh, university students uh, to go and work and travel in the United States during their summer vacation. Great, very great. And what are some of the advantages of the program as far as, you know, traveling, uh, different cultural experiences? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a big part of it is uh, the students get to go to the United States to learn more about the culture there. And um, also, they, w while they work, they get to earn money. Um, and then they have a, a chance to travel around the United States, visit friends or family they, they know there. and. Uh, Again, yeah, it's a, it's a cultural exchange. They get to learn about the U.S. culture. Yeah, and how long, what is the time period as far as uh, the length of stay? Um, mm -hmm. Can they stay in the U.S. after to visit? Uh, mm -hmm. What are some of the... Uh... The program is uh, made to not go over four months in length. It's uh, supposed to be during the duration of the student's uh, summer break from their university. And... Uh, I mean, the, the, the program's all, it depends on the program exactly how long the program will last. Uh, you know, two and a half months, three months is, is about the average, I would say. Um, and then the student has up to 30 days after the program to, to spend the money that, they, that they've earned traveling around the U.S. Mm -hmm. or, or, or like I said, visiting family or friends. Yeah, and what is the percentage of Turkish students that uh, participate in the program? Are there a mm -hmm. large degree of Turkish students, and also as well as international students in general? Mm -hmm. uh, Turkey is always a very, a very strong sender of students to the United States. I know that last summer they were the fourth largest, uh, or the the fourth ranked country to send students to the U.S. It was about uh, it was over four thousand Turkish students who or students who from from Turkey who went to the United States on the summer work travel program, and um, and they're always in the top ten each summer. And uh, two thousand twelve, uh, was, there were about fifty thousand participants in in the whole program from around the world. Just to give you a, an idea of of how many participants worldwide. Wow, and it sounds like it's quite competitive. Is it easy? Do you speak? pick a specific number from uh, various countries or is, um, is it random? Uh, there's no cap. There's no cap on uh, numbers of students who go from, from each country. Um, it's not uh, competitive in the competitive sense, but, uh, but you know, the students should be ready to, to go uh, to enjoy the, the, the program and, and work. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely sound like something that I would want to do. Uh, yeah. When is the period for visa applications? How can students get started with, with the process of applying to this program? Well, here in Turkey, we've, we've started already, uh, both in Istanbul and Ankara. Uh, we are interviewing students now for the program. Uh, we have uh, appointments open uh, right now. So as soon as the student has their uh, DS-2019, which is the form, uh, the official form they have to get from the United States, as soon as they have the DS-2019 in hand, then they are able to book an appointment. Um, and, and generally here in Turkey, uh, normally the, the agents, the travel agents who are working with the students book the, the group appointment for them. Um, so I would, I would say to all students out there, as soon as they have the DS-2019 in hand, you know, talk to your, the travel agent about booking your appointment as soon as possible. Great. And as far as uh, English proficiencies, is there a certain level that's required of students uh, to enter the program or to apply for the program? Uh, there is. We, there's a requirement that, that participants in the program have a sufficient level of English. Um, it's not only enough English to talk during the interview. The interview will be in English. Um, but we have to be convinced that the student can you know, communicate 
in an emergency situation, for instance, or communicate with their colleagues at work and their, their supervisors at work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. And you mentioned the, uh, the DS-2019 mm -hmm. form uh, and the visa process. During the visa interviews, what is something that student, students should be prepared to answer mm -hmm. um, or prepare themselves to um, get through the visa mm -hmm. interview process? Right. Well, the, the, the DS-2019 is, is uh, they have to have that to come to the interview. It has to be in the original format, um, so it will be sent to them in, in the mail. It can't be a photocopy. And then they will also do the online application form, just like all visa applicants do. It's, it's called the DS-160, and that's an online process. And again, uh, they, they can ask their travel agents a lot of these questions about what exactly will be needed. But those are the two you know, things that you have to have uh, to come to the interview. We also recommend that the students bring their transcripts to the interview. Um, that, will, that will be helpful. Uh, during the interview process and, and just be ready to come to talk about about the job that they're going to be doing and a little bit about themselves, about why they want to do it, how it will help them in the long term. And the interviews are they're generally straightforward and they're you know they're quite short in length so so the students should be ready, come prepared to to have a chat with us. Uh, Martin, can you tell us a little bit about more of the online resources you have if students have questions or want to get ideas about um, experiences uh, related to the summer work and travel program, where can they go online to find out that information? Well, thank you for that question. We, we, we have a web page um, which is istanbul.usconsulate.gov and on there there's a tab uh, for visas and under that tab uh, there is a subcategory uh, for summer work travel. So we have information there about it in, in English and Turkish. And we also, you can connect with us via our website. We have a, we have a form that you, can, that you can go to fill out if you have any questions or concerns about uh, your program or the program that you're going to go to. We do have a, a Facebook page and it is SWT Turkey. And on there, we have uh, we post things uh, on a regular basis about summer work travel and about uh, visas, visas and going to the United States, and you can uh, you know you can connect with us on there as well. Thank you for your time today, and um, I encourage the students to go out and uh, you know submit their applications for the summer work and travel program. So thanks again. Thank you. All right.